Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, we're talking about weather apps. Hi, my name is Guy Training and this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEdge and today we're talking about weather apps and weather apps are not just to learn about the weather in science. They actually can be used for a variety of things. You can use them when you're teaching geography and you can look at the place you're studying about, what the weather patterns are there like and what the weather is currently there or what the annual patterns are and we can use that also in math if we want to talk about graphing, if we want to talk about averages or other calculations that you can do uh, with all the information you can get about the weather and I'm not just talking about temperature so let's get to it. The first app that we can use for weather is the Weather Channel app. It's the basic app that most people use and it's a great way to start exploring the weather. The first thing that comes up is the place you're at, but you can see that, for example, on my app, I have multiple places that I uh, either interested in or I have friends in or I'm looking at going to, and that allows me to see exactly what's going on in different places in the world. And you can see that you can see the weather there right now. This is China where we were just at on a visit, but you can also see the forecast and if you click on a specific day you can get an hour by hour take on things. Of course, not just the weather is available like that, but you can actually go and grab a radar map that will let you know, and this will take a few minutes, this is a cloud map and we'll go back to Lincoln, we'll get to Lincoln and we'll get a radar map for Lincoln and you can see that there are uh, very few clouds outside right now and you can get also the ability to see the animation of the last few hours uh, available there and if we change the layers you can actually see that we can look at clouds, we can look at temperature which is a different take and we can zoom in and out so we can see how it relates to the areas around us very very quickly so it's a way to get information and this is the whole United States it'll take a while longer and you can see that you can learn about maps you can learn about how we mark cold and hot spots you can learn about the different aspects of weather clouds temperature rain so for example we can look at rain across the United States and then as I said you can actually animate what has happened over the last few hours and see the changes as they have occurred. So this is the, uh, the Weather Channel app and this uh, fantastic app to start exploration. It's the basic app that I go to. But there are a few apps that uh, offer a few other things. Dark Sky is a great app for that and in Dark Sky uh, you get a different take on the weather. Uh, it is a paid app and it's not a free app but I think it's well worth it at least for exploration and you can see that first it comes up with your location and the temperature and you can look at precipitation. What I love is the graphic representation. You can see that there's a temperature across the day so you can start seeing a graph of what happens across the hours of the day uh, with precipitation and with uh, temperature. Uh, it has a full week so a description of the week and the ranges of temperatures within each day and a graphic representation of what the day is supposed to be like and sunrise and sunset, another piece of information. So there's a lot of information presented visually, a great way to mine some data and again you can go to different places around the world and find out what's going on there. So this one is called Dark Sky, it's black and white, it's very very clear and it's definitely worth exploring. The next one I want to talk about is Wonder Station and the Weather Underground has connected a lot of weather stations across the world. This one is again in Chengdu, China where we were just at and what you can see is you actually tap to that specific station and get the readings from there. It's a great way to explore how we actually measure a meteorological events and how we accumulate all that information from multiple places and it gets a little bit more real when it's not just a report but it's a specific station in a specific place and you can see that you get things like pressure and it's in real time and you get 
the direction of the wind. In this case, the, there's no wind, so there's no real direction. But if I change to a different place, let's say to Lincoln, you can see that I can get the temperature across this day. I can get, again, wind. And again, Lincoln, no wind right now, which is great. You can get pressure. You can get, in this case, we have a webcam attached to it. So you can actually get a picture from a few minutes ago. This one is four minutes ago. And you can see that you can actually add more and more instrument just using that plus sign. And you can see that you can add to it things like rainfall, sky conditions, wind, and all of that. So you can actually add to that and get to read on a very specific station so students can explore what's in their town. And you can actually do a field trip to that station and see the physical manifestation and not just uh, the, the digital representation. So the weather, weather underground Wonder Station allows you to tap into stations like that all across the world. So if you're learning about another country, or if you're interested in your own town, you can use that to get a really good read. AccuWeather.com is another app to look at weather. It's a free app and it's a great way to get a lot of the same information that is presented in the Weather Channel, but again, the dashboard is a little bit different and it helps look at other aspects of the atmosphere beyond temperature and uh, precipitation. So what you can see is you get here a read on the temperature, in this case again uh, China, um, you can get a minimum maximum visibility, cloud cover and all of that. So it's information we already saw. You can see the direction of the wind, but you also have the conditions for different activities. So this is a different way to look at it. Uh, right now it says that the lawn mowing uh, conditions are not very good. Luckily it's winter and we don't have to mow our lawns or this would be a problem. And you can see that you can rearrange those as well in everything. So it's a way to think about what does that weather mean for me, for my everyday activities. And this is AccuWeather, again, allows to do a different kind of exploration of the weather. And when we think about these apps, you really can explore them in interesting way because it can connect a math lesson on averages or on graphing to the real world, to things that kids know what, feels, what it feels like, what it looks like, and now they're taking all that information in and working with it. So it connects to the real world, and of course, if you're learning about other places or if you're learning about the weather itself, it's a great way to get a sense beyond something in a textbook or beyond a worksheet. This is what it is right now, whether it's in our town, across the country or across the globe, we can get a read of it. And that's one of the great things about being connected and being able to access all of that data. And so today we talked about some weather apps and I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.